Hi. I know, two videos in one day, right? <laughs> well, I'm sure that there's been lots of questions and lots of, I wonder what if, and how's this going to work for her, and, you know, I want you to hear it straight from me. This is what's happening. First night I was admitted, I had a bone marrow biopsy. It came back, and it does show that I have acute myeloid leukemia, uh, a type 5 or 6. They said they're very closely linked, real hard to break them down between the two. To treat that, I get a chemo drug three days in a row, but at the same time, I have another chemo drug that runs seven days straight. During that seven days, initial uh, additional information will be coming back from the bone marrow biopsy, um, that will give us some genetic information that will be very important for the overall treatment. A week after my chemo is finished, they'll do another bone marrow biopsy and see if the chemo worked. If there's cells still in there that they don't want to see in there, then they'll probably have to adjust the chemo routine and do the chemo again. If it does show that it got what they wanted, and if the genetic testing comes back, that is the very best case scenario, then I will be in the hospital an additional two weeks, getting lots of blood products, getting myself built back up to have any immune system whatsoever. Um, then I'll get to go home and I will come and for three months, I'll come in for a week a month and get my chemo drugs. If at the, and I'll do for, like I said, for three months. So at the end of three months, if they go in and everything looks good, then it's frequent, frequent follow-ups to make sure I don't relapse because it can happen and I can come back to square one and start all over. If, here's some factors that can, you know, change things. Leukemia that I have has about a 60% remission rate. Some people say 70%, some people say 60%. I'd love to hear 90%, but it's not there, so I'll be in the 60%. Um, Sometimes the genetic portion that comes back shows that I'm very highly probably going to have it come back again. So what they do sometimes in that case is they do feel as though it's good to build the bone marrow back up from a bone marrow donor. And so I would have to have a bone marrow transplant. The transplant would take place after the three, out, the three rounds of chemo. Um, it takes about two weeks for them to get me physically ready to be able to do it. Um, they have to find a donor and get a match, and then the donor has things they have to do, you know. Then I would receive the bone marrow transplant. All this will be taking place at, um, the, it's Barnes Hospital in St. Louis. They have a different name of it for the chemo place. I don't know. They changed the name, but anyway, doesn't matter. Bones Hospital. And then after the transplant, I will be in St. Louis for one to three months. <laughs> Luckily, they have a home there for people who are undergoing transplant, just like me, and it is a free place for me to stay the whole time. That is worst case scenario. That is the absolute worst case scenario, is me having to have the bone tra marrow transplant and live in St. Louis by myself for three months. Um, best case scenario, guys, they're going to do this bone marrow biopsy in two weeks. They're going to say, this was the right chemo drug, looks great. We're going to do three outpatient ones, and then you will just be followed very closely. This is all I know. It's all a waiting game. I have another week before we hear the genetic stuff. I have two weeks before I get another biopsy. And we don't know. We don't know anything. It's a waiting game. So, every day I get up and I say, you know what? I'm here today. I'm here today. Um, I know. It doesn't sound the best, but it doesn't sound like the worst either, guys. So, keep the prayers coming. All we can hope is all these things that they're going to be doing to me in the next few weeks work. Um, this is officially everything I know, everything I know at this point. So if you have people that, that are saying they heard this or they heard that or, you know, oh my gosh, she has two weeks to live or whatever. 
feel free to say, hey, I heard it right from her. This is what's happening. So, you know the rumors are. But anyway, I'm doing okay. I'm trying to keep my spirits up. I'm very, very tired today. Um, but today's been a much better day than yesterday. So, I love each and every one of you. And I just wanted to add on a little bit of information. Y'all take care.